Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another college day in my life. Sitting here drinking some coffee and I have my laptop and I'm actually about to hop on my 8.30 a.m. chem lecture. class just ended and I am now about to make something for breakfast. These are the English muffins that I've been getting um, by Dave's Killer Bread. They are so, so good. So I can't completely take credit for this avocado toast because I stole it from Tara Michelle on YouTube. She has been making this and I decided to give it a try and it is so good. So you just use an English muffin and then you put your avocado on it. The key here is the toppings. So everything but the bagel seasoning. Crushed red pepper flakes, which gives it a really good like spice. And then drizzle olive oil. And this is what it looks like. Tell me that doesn't look bomb. So I just finished eating breakfast and I filled up my water bottle. I have been obsessed with this water bottle and drinking so much more water. I actually shared on Instagram that I drank the entire thing yesterday. So we are continuing that trend. But anyways, I have a lot to do today. Today's gonna be heavy on like the studying because I submitted a lot of what I had to turn in yesterday. I do have to finish up a lab report at some point today. I'm hoping my sister's gonna help me with that. Um, but for the most part, I'm gonna just be studying today because I have lots of chemistry stuff and an exam coming up. But I am gonna go brush my teeth, wash my face, put a little bit of makeup on. It just kind of helps me be productive and keep somewhat of a normal life going even though I am stuck in my house every single day until who knows when. ready for the day but before I start studying I wanted to tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video native is actually the sponsor of today's video and I'm super excited to be working with them because native deodorants are freaking amazing Chad has actually been using native deodorant for like years and he has asked me so many times why I don't switch to it because it's so much better for you and when they reached out and wanted to work with me I thought it would finally be the perfect time to try out this deodorant I've been using it for about a month now and I freaking love it you guys know that I'm somebody who works out regularly so it's super important that the deodorant I use actually works and does its job and native deodorant does everything I need it to it's aluminum free sulfate free and paraben free so definitely a lot better than any deodorant that I've ever used in the past I can feel good about using this and the texture of their deodorant is great it's not sticky at all and it dries really quickly the scents are amazing and they have so many to choose from and I especially love that it lasts all day because that's something that's super important with your deodorant especially if you're someone like me who puts it on in the morning but then you don't work out until the nighttime. I don't want to have to be reapplying my deodorant, so I like the fact that it lasts me all day and then through my workout as well. This one's cucumber and mint, and I love this scent. It's just really, really clean and fresh. Coconut and vanilla is going to take me right into the summertime. It smells like you're at the beach. And the eucalyptus and mint is a great unisex scent. Chad loves this one. It smells like you're at the spa. I love anything eucalyptus, honestly. And I'm honestly just so happy that I finally decided to switch to a deodorant that's better for me. So if you guys want to make the switch to better deodorant, there'll be a link in the description box you can save 33 percent plus free shipping on your first deodorant pack by native just make sure to use the code melissa when you're checking out and thank you again native for sponsoring today's video It is now almost 
12 30 and i'm freaking starving my lab just finished and thank god he spent like the entire last like 20 minutes of our lab explaining the short report that's due tonight at midnight because i was super confused on that because this is the first time we've had to do a short report that was on an online simulation instead of an actual lab that we did in class so i was just super confused on like the discussion questions because they didn't really apply to the molecules that are used in the online simulation but all of that's been clarified. It sounds like he's gonna be really lenient, thank God. And um, so at least now I know what to do for that. But yeah, I just heard the washer go off, so I'm gonna quickly go switch my laundry and then figure out something for lunch. A lot of people asked about where Chad got these dryer balls and he said he got them on Amazon. So you guys should just look for like wool dryer balls on Amazon. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna work out today. Goes against what I said I was gonna do because I wanted to try to work out all throughout the week so that on the weekends I wouldn't have to work out. But the reason I don't want to is because I have been working out the last three days in a row, like really heavy on the legs and just like full body hit workouts, getting my heart rate up. And I'm honestly so sore and I just don't wanna like overdo it for myself. So I might take today off. I feel like I deserve that. I mean, not like completely off. I'll probably do like a 15 minute like stretch thing just to stretch out my body, but I don't think I'm gonna actually do a full blown workout today. I decided to come eat lunch outside because it's so nice out. It's a little bit warm, but it's doable because there's a breeze and I just like to get out of the house. I've really been trying to give myself a little bit of outdoor time, even if it's just literally out on my deck outside. Um, the dogs are running around, going to the bathroom and drinking my water. And I'll show you guys what I made for lunch. Just a sandwich and some strawberries. And then I also brought my book out here. I think I showed you guys this book before, but I have not got very far in it, but this is a book that I'm reading right now. So I thought I would just bring this out here and give myself a little break. Cause after this, I have to continue with my school stuff today. So I'm just gonna read and eat my lunch. He loves when I eat lunch outside. You want my strawberry? You can't have it. Okay, so I had my little lunch break, which was very nice, but now I need to get to work. So I'm gonna write myself a little to-do list. I don't really have anything at the moment that I need to turn in other than that short report, but I'm not gonna do that until this evening. So I'm going to basically just write down the topics that I wanna cover. I'm gonna watch some videos and take some notes on my iPad. Um, some of these things I've already learned, but I just wanna like review them because it was like over two weeks ago. So, I'm just gonna write them on sticky notes like I do so that I can like keep track of it as I'm going over them. Okay, so here's pretty much the plan. These are the topics that I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna do this in combination with my notes from Melissa Maribel and some online videos. And I'm gonna take notes on each of these and do like some practice problems. I actually wanna like basically create my own study guide because he gives us a study guide like a week before the exam, but I wanna start practicing some of these earlier concepts like now. So I'm gonna just like kind of create my own like quote unquote study guide and just find some examples to practice for each of these concepts. And yes, I did make another coffee. I made a hazelnut coffee and it's delicious. I really felt like I needed a second cup because I have so much to do. Okay, so I watched the video on the chemical reactions and I went through each of the types and I put a little example to kind of help understand it. So now I'm gonna move on to reviewing balancing equations.
I just finished nearly a two hour study sesh with Melissa Maribel and that was after doing a bunch of studying. So I've been pretty much doing chemistry for like hours on end now and I really desperately need a break and it's six o'clock so I'm actually gonna start making dinner. I got a package in from Sephora. I'll show you guys what I ordered. I just ordered a new barrel for my T3 from Sephora because right now I have the ones with the clamps and I really wanted the wand. I don't know why, I just really had the desire to go back to using a wand so I just wanted to get the wand for it. I love the T3 because you have the same base and you can just buy different barrels for it. It's like a great way to switch up your heat tool. So time for a new look with my hair. I'm going to try this out probably tonight or tomorrow for sure. I didn't really plan anything for dinner tonight. So I'm just kind of making something up right now. I have frozen shrimp in there. So I'm going to thaw that out and saute it with like some olive oil and garlic. And I'm going to make some red lentil penne. And we're just going to have shrimp pasta, which sounds very good to me. I came up with this meal idea from watching what I eat in a day videos and I saw somebody make it and I can't remember who it was, but got my noodles cooking and I'm just sauteing some minced garlic with a little bit of butter and olive oil. And now I am adding in the shrimp. I just added in the pasta, sauteing it all together. I just added a little bit of pepper and basil. Okay, and here is the final product. Tell me this doesn't look amazing. I am so excited I'm gonna eat the entire bowl. When I said I was gonna eat the whole bowl, like I was joking kind of, definitely did not think I'd actually eat the whole bowl, but that was so good. You guys have to try to make this. Tag me if you try it. Definitely something I just kind of threw together without a recipe. Like I said, I saw it in someone else's what I eat in a day video and I just kind of recreated it. I don't even know if I did it exactly the same, but it was so good. myself a glass of wine and I was really hoping that I would be finished all my schoolwork before eight o'clock but that just didn't happen so we're gonna shoot for nine I have to finish up this short report I'm about to FaceTime my sister and she's just gonna help look it over um, this one is on the abstract section of the missing labels experiment which I struggled with but I managed to get done the online simulation thing um, so I'm just gonna finish this up and then hopefully play some Animal Crossing tonight before it's too late because I've been dying to play that game all day, but I had so much to do today that I literally just did schoolwork all day. Here's what my short report looks like so far, just on the abstract section and then some of the discussion questions. Guess what time it is? Switch time. I have literally been waiting for this moment all day. So now I'm going to lay here and play my game. And since it's after 10, I might even go back in time. Now that it's after 10, the stores are closed in the game, so I won't be able to go and check out what they have. So we might do a little time travel. Don't tell anyone, people get really mad when you do that. Just to clarify though, I never time travel to cheat. I only time travel because of things like this, where it's like so late that I can't even experience the things I want to in the game because it's too late. So I'm not gonna go like way, way back or anything, but obviously I have to go back before 10 o'clock, so. That's my life. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. And thanks again, Native, for sponsoring today's video. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video.